Hello everybody, welcome to another video. We are actually in front of the new camera right now. I've been playing with it all morning. I actually have a handy little app that I can control all the settings from. Like, we can change the focus. <laughs> and I can focus behind me. And I can focus in front of me. Or I can autofocus. Uh, there we go. And then I can start and stop recording from here. Um, so this is kind of fun. I'm really enjoying this. Um, but anyways, uh, let's get into what we're doing today. Um, we are in the garage doing a little bit of reorganization. Um, I've actually, behind the camera you can't see it, but you will see later in the video, that I've moved the frame out of the garage and put it in my backyard um, in no man's land for a little bit. Um, and the reason I'm doing this organization is because we are taking steps towards moving into a new place. It's not official. I don't have an official place, but we are progressing with the business plan. So going along with that, we need to start making things movable. Um, and I have a lot of things already up on wheels, like some storage benches, the main workbench, all my tools can be moved around. And the biggest thing that isn't on wheels right now is the tool cabinet behind me. Um, it has my chop saw in the middle, it has a bunch of tools on top, and then it has two large drawers on the bottom, and then all smaller drawers about chest height. And uh, when I built this, I originally thought that the miter was going to be kind of like a main fixture in this workshop. And after using it and trying to calibrate it and trying to get it to cut straight, everything measures correctly. But when I cut it, everything's at a slight angle and it's really starting to annoy me. So I am going to get rid of the miter saw being the main feature in the tool cabinet. So the plan is to remove the shelf along the top and then remove the miter saw section in the middle and then bring the two outside halves together. And then while I do that, I'm going to build a metal frame that has four or five inch casters under it and then make it all one big unit, kind of like the Craftsman or Cobalt or whatever. It's gonna take a little bit of work to get this job done, but before we can start tearing this apart, I have to clear off my workbenches and put all the stuff that was originally stored on some shelves on the frame back on a storage cart that I made in place of it. Um, so we're gonna try something new with this camera. It has a time-lapse mode. So I'm gonna set it up in the corner by the door and then we're gonna move everything off of my workbenches onto the storage table. And then we're gonna take all the drawers out of the cabinet and put them in one of the aisles on the side of the storage table. So let me get the camera set up and we'll finish cleaning the garage from the last project. Ooh. Alrighty, now that we have the tool cabinet disassembled, we can start reconfiguring it so we can get it back together. The first thing I need to do is cut off the toe kick off the two base sections, since the frame and the casters and the main platform are going to be about six inches off the ground, I can save a little bit of height by cutting off the toe kick that exists on the bases now. Once I get the toe kicks cut off, I can put the two bases side by side and measure how big the frame needs to be. So once I know the size of the frame, I'm going to pull out the metal chop saw and get right into cutting and welding the frame together.
have jumped ahead a little bit. I am done welding the frame together. I didn't record any of me welding because I don't have a filter for the new lens or the new camera, and I didn't want to risk damaging any of that stuff. So I'll be getting that in the future so that I can show you how wonderfully mediocre I am welding things together. But here it is, all 72 inches by 24 inches, fully welded. Every seam is welded even inside these corners, which was a bear to get to. So the next step is to attach the casters to that. And I have four of these casters I got off Amazon. Altogether, they can handle 1,200 pounds, which should be plenty for my tool cabinet um, to make life a little bit easier. I've gone ahead and made a couple templates and we just have to <coughs> slide those templates into the corner and then we hole punch all these holes and then we can drill them out. And I have a bunch of these, so I'll be able to do all four corners relatively easy. And after we get the casters on, I'll be putting the platform on. And after I get everything built and all the holes drilled and know everything will work, I will take it apart and then prime and paint it and then put it together for the last time. And that's where we're going to call this video. And since I'm breaking this up into a couple of videos, we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna finish the cabinet all together. Probably gonna put a couple layers of paint on the cabinet, change it a color from just the wood, and then I'm gonna put drawer fronts on all the drawers, which I had planned on doing for a while, I just haven't gotten to, but we'll do that in the next video and just kind of wrap this project all up and be done with it. So let's get to the casters and then platform and then paint, and then we'll be done with this part of revamping my tool cabinet. the base is complete. The casters went on really easy with those templates. The platform screwed on just fine. The paint took a little bit longer than expected because it's a little cold in the garage, but that has nicely set and will continue to cure um, over the next couple days. But we are done with this part of the project. In the next video, we will pick up where we left off here continuing to rebuild the new configuration on top of this. It is a solid platform. I am 280 pounds and me bouncing up and down on it, it doesn't creak or shake or move at all. These casters can hold 1200 pounds, which should be plenty for what I'm gonna be putting in the cabinet. 
but we'll continue the project in the next video. If you are new to the channel and enjoy woodworking, metalworking, engineering, cars, basically anything under the sun that involves building and designing stuff, it would be awesome if you subscribed. I think you would really enjoy the channel. If you enjoy the content of this video, it would be much appreciated if you give me a like. If you have any comments or questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. And with that, I'm gonna end the video here and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Boop.